Hey there, how are you? So Capgemini sent me an ergonomic chair as part of its hybrid work culture. In this video, I'm not only showing you the chair and its features, but I'm also going to discuss the things like who is eligible to receive a chair, how to order it, and do we need to pay for it? If so, how much? So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the one we receive steel case personality air mesh aro2 black obviously as name suggests the chair allows you to adjust it according to your personality according to your height you can adjust height of the chair and you can also adjust your seat depth here uh, you can adjust the height of armrest it also has simple control to adjust back tension Apparently, there is a framework here to maintain the optimal ergonomic position while you are sitting in this chair. For example, you have to adjust the height of the chair such that your feet are flat on the floor and there are many more such instructions. Uh, they have sent an instruction list of user manual on how I can adjust this personality chair in a way that is better for my personality to maintain right posture and to maintain the ergonomic health of mine. So that's about the features of the chair. Now coming to eligibility, employees of any grade can order this chair, but you should already be completed your probation period by the time you are ordering this. And also you must be working under hybrid mode. You can order this in service central. If you are a CG employee, you know what I'm talking about. The actual ETA to deliver the chair is five weeks, but due to high number of orders, it is taking more time than that. For me, it took two months to get it delivered. Coming to the value of this chair, this model goes by 27k in Steelcase India website. You don't need to pay anything when you order this through Capgemini. But in case you are leaving the organization within 3 years of receiving this chair, you have to pay some amount based on the year you are leaving. That amount would be deducted from your final settlement. So if you are leaving within 1 year of receiving the chair, you need to pay 11.9k base cost plus 1.8k perquisite tax. That is around 13.7k in total. Likewise, if you are leaving in second year, then you will get to pay 7.9k base cost and 3.9k perquisite tax, total 12k. If you are leaving in third year, you need to pay uh, like 3.9k base cost and 6.1k perquisite tax, that is 10k total. If you leave after three years of receiving the chair, then you don't need to pay anything. So that's about this video. If you have any queries, Feel free to comment uh, if you find it useful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.